Hello YouTube land, my name is Wildboy5699 Welcome back to another video Now I completely forgot about this because I'm an asshole uh, I'm a huge asshole and I tried my best not to do that anymore But I forgot to mention back in May uh, When I turned 25 That not only I was turning no, but I had two milestones I had my microphone, I'm sorry but I had two milestones that I hit back in May Number one was my 25th uh, birthday And number two it was my uh, number two was my tenth uh, year friendship anniversary with a uh, with a friend over in New Zealand by the, who well, usually went by the name Jack Demus, uh, but now goes by the name I think believe who hurt you if I think believe his new channel is now I'm gonna put a link to both of his channels in the description down below his original Jack Demus channel which now goes by Jack he went by a couple of things like Stormine and Pyro and then back to Jack Demus and then he went to um, uh, he rebranded himself to uh, as a to who hurt you, and I put both the description to his Jack channel and the who hurt you channel in the description. Now I wanted to talk about this video in my history and friendship with Jackson Bus now or Jackson, who he usually by Jackson Mullins. Now I have not spoken to him. I've spoken to him off and on for the past three, uh, four, five, six years. Uh, we still talk all. We still talk every now and then. He'll comment on some of my videos, and I'll comment on some of his videos. But he has had my back for like I said 10 years when I was an asshole he had my back when I was depressed he had my back when I was getting bullied and hate and hate mail he had my back what I gave in return being a fucking prick um now when I first mess when I first found his channel in May of 2014 he had a video at the time that was uploaded back in May of 2013 I think it was a reaction video to a very shitty movie like a shitty 45 minute cartoon movie and uh, I, I found the video very very entertaining because uh, we were I was a fan of that franchise he was of the movie the franchise he was watching and he would do the reaction video it was like a three and a half minute video but it was very very entertaining so I'm in uh, of course he lived he lives all the way in uh, New Zealand and I live all the way here in America so our time zones are way out of whack I think he's 17 hours ahead of ahead of my time like right now it's 9 30 in the uh, 9 30 in the evening so he's probably like Three or four o'clock in the evening, afternoon the next day. But I wanted this to make this video. Uh, what was I gonna say? But anyway, well, he made a video reacting to. It. You know, he was saying the word I think skux s k u x over and over again, and I found it very very hilarious. His reaction was absolutely hilarious. And so I commented on his video, asking what that meant. And you know he told me what it meant, and you know it was a New Zealand slang or something like that. And so I um. Uh, so I told him I had a reaction video to the same thing on my channel. Of course, at the time, I had no editing skills whatsoever. I was recording on a $30 tablet to a 30-inch green TV, and you can barely hear my voice. And I deleted the video a long, 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 long time ago. And he found the video absolutely hilarious and entertaining, even though it was a very cringe video that I made. And so back at the time, he was actually the first person I gave a shout-out to because on this channel, I used to do shout-outs for people that I really liked or I found very entertaining. Now, I don't do shout-outs anymore. Uh, because that's how many people spam my channel and stuff like that. And people got mad when I told them no. Uh, but that's another uh, another topic. So I made a video. Uh, it was like a, a minute and a half, two minute video, of um, of hit of uh, 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 me giving a shout out to him, and he was just over the moon with that video. He reacted to the video. I think it was a video he made of May of that, uh, that the May of that year, and he made a video I think it was called three year anniversary video it was a th milestone for him being three years on YouTube and uh, he mentioned me a couple of times in the video then he made a reaction video with another friend of his in New Zealand and the reaction to my when he was reacting to my video he was way over the moon he absolutely loved the the video he loved it to death um, but I was an asshole afterwards because you know he, he said it was a fan video and I'm like it was just a shout out not a fan video and of course looking back you know I, I had some issues at the time, I recorded those videos and stuff like that, but I tried to have gotten better over the years now being 25 and stuff like that. But, like I said, he was over over the moon of that video. And, of course, at the time, he was making skit videos. He was making reaction videos. He was doing all types of videos. But now he's just strictly a music channel. Originally, he deleted a lot of those videos. I think he deleted a majority of uh, like every single video besides his music videos. He has a couple of vlogs unlisted you can find on his Jack channel. You know, he did a couple of, he did, I had a gaming video, he had a gaming channel, uh, which is not very popular. I don't know if it's still up, but if it is, it was under title Must Gaming. Um, so we, we, I was a couple of, I was a uh, uh, collaboration on his channel, 
uh, with this Jack the Must channel and this Must Gaming channel, uh, this Must Gaming channel, and we, um, and like I said, we hit it off very, very well. Even though I, like I said, I was an asshole for the first two years, but he had my back all the way through. He has, he never stopped being my friend. He never hated me at one point. He doesn't, you know, it just being the asshole I was and um, at first, you know, he he never he never stopped being my friend, which was absolutely amazing. And um, what was I gonna say? And then, like I said, he did a couple of videos. To call, like I said, he did he made a skit video or a little short film uh, based on Justin Bieber, and you know it was very hilarious. And you know he put me as the creator of the the video, and it was very awesome. And then he made a, he made a couple of other videos, mentioned me another a couple of times. I can't remember the video, like I said, he deleted a lot of those videos a long time ago. I know he made a reaction video, he had a reaction series on his channel, and uh, he would react to a couple of my videos, a couple of videos I suggested and stuff like that. I think the one of the first videos I let, actually asked him to react to was the Kfee commercials, which you know the commercials, relaxing videos, and then they pop out at you and stuff like that. He reacted to that video, and that video got about 15,000 views, uh, which was very cool. And then he reacted to a couple of videos. At the time, I was a quote-unquote brony, so I made him react to a couple of different video um, ML, uh, MLP videos. Uh, you know, it, but he found those absolutely torture. And of course, I got mad at him for not having the reaction. And you know, I kind of got mad about that. He then apologized and stuff like that. And um, and of course, he of course at the time of the video, you could uh, uh, of course back, up until they remove ever since they removed the dislike platform on YouTube. You can actually see other people who other YouTube channels and what videos they've liked. And of course, I saw a lot of videos of him hate about hate videos on MLP and stuff like that. Of course, that didn't sit too well with me, so I told him how I felt about that. Of course, I apologize for that, and uh, and then a couple other stuff. He like I said, he reacted to my uh, high school drama play performances. He act reacted to a couple of them. Uh, those performances uh, I had on YouTube for years, but after realizing how. Um, Awful. They treated me in drama club. Even though I said they were a group of wonderful people, I uh, deleted those videos and took those down as well. Uh, but he reacted to those. But he unfortunately he took those down as well. Um, but and then um, like I said, he reacted to many of my videos and stuff like that. He made a like I said, he was a, 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 a he was a great he's a great skill at editing, and he's trying to teach me how to edit here and there and stuff like that. Uh, my editing has gotten slightly better throughout the years. Um, I'm just not like the editing he would do. It was like it was like fucking college skill stuff. It was like p actual good PewDiePie editing. How good of an editor he was. Um, and he said editing was absolutely fun because he was such a master and had a great software and stuff like that. And then he got so excited in December of 2014 when he reached a uh, hundred subscribers. And of course, at the time I was pissed off about it because I was had I still had like 40 something subscribers, and you know he had a hundred and stuff like that. And I got irritated with that. I always I was always ran on people's parades, and I try not to do that anymore because looking back, I just absolutely feel bad the way I was towards him on some of the stuff, and I really feel bad about that. And then, um, after a while, he had 200 subscribers and then stuff like that. However, and think it was in, uh, 2016, my senior year of high school, there was a shooting, uh, in Greenwood, Arkansas, which was about 15, about 10 miles down the road, and it got national head coverage. Like, Donald Trump, before he was president, actually made a tweet to the, to the, to the, about that shooting and everything. So I decided to try to way, raise awareness in some sort of way. The only thing I could think of was doing bringing back the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. And, uh, of course, you can't find those videos anymore. Uh, it was, we did, me and uh, another friend from high school did a couple of videos of pouring star water overhead because this was still back in the summer. School just started. So it was like in the end of August, August, so it was still very, very hot outside. And, of course, I nominated, I think, four or five, six people, and only him and one other person did the video. And, of course, in the video he did, he kind of said, he said, fuck you and flip me off and stuff like that. I'm like, should I be happy you did the challenge or should I be pissed off that you told me to go fuck myself in the video? And, of course, that video got a bunch of negative feedback for him. And he explained that not only uh, somebody was harassing him on his private messages, doing wanting to do collabs and stuff like this. And then I told him that and I uh, that and then I had asked him to do the, the ice bucket challenge. And, of course, he got that. That's what threw him over the edge. And I kind of joke around now. I'm like, dude, this guy harassed you all the time, but you tell me to go fuck myself. And he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. But, like I said, he did that video, and he was 
very pissed off of the video. He was very pissed off from that video, and of course he apologized for saying stuff like uh, what he did and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, at the time he was going through uh, this this person was harassed. He said it was a spam, but it was harassing at one point. Like he would be uh, this person from I think Ireland would message him on his li their live streams, messaging him to reply on their private message. At the time it was Google Hangouts, he was messaging him on their private message to Google Hangouts. And this and over where Jackson lives, he lived in New Zealand, so it was like two or three o'clock in the morning. And so he was like, reply to me on Hangouts, reply to me on Hangouts, reply to me on Hangouts. Every comment, reply to me on Hangouts. Every video, reply to me on Hangouts. And of course he had enough and it threw him over the edge. So he made a video. He made a small, he made a mini series on a couple people called GTFO, aka Get the Fuck Out, and he would just. Uh, stuff like that, because I know there was like one of the Dragon Critic and a couple of stuff like that. And it, but that was a, he did like three parts on the Dragon Critic, which at the time the kid was like fourteen years old at the time, and this guy was he was just a big old troll. He would spam people with their hangouts. Please message me on hangouts. Please message me on hangouts. And when he blocked him, he got pissed off because if you talk shit about Kung Fu Panda three which came out that year he would get pissed off about it he if he met, said anything bad about how you train your dragon to any movie that was dreamworks for later he would get pissed off if we said anything bad about it he said that um he said at one point that uh star wars was a ripoff of kung fu panda 4 uh blowing up my phone blowing up my uh messages you know he was like saying star wars ruined kung fu, uh, ripped off kung fu panda 4 star wars ripped off how to train your dragon it was making no sense at all at one point i said give me a reason why that um Star Wars ripped out Kung Fu Panda. He, he never gave me a reason why. And he said, I said what I said, and you know what I said. This wasn't Jackson. It was the Dragon Critic and stuff like that. And uh, and stuff like that. So he made a couple of GTF old videos on him and stuff like that. And then 2017, he kind of started lowering the uh, lowering his video, uh, kind of not releasing videos as much as he did. Like back in 2015, he would do, a Monday, he would do a reaction video. No, Monday, he would do a vlog video, an update video. Wednesday, he would do an archive of his older videos from his very first channel. And then um, and Friday, he would do a reaction channel. I can't remember what the series was, but the word, but the word for RVRR, which he would call it RVRR. And then... I think he would try to make. He did that. He lasted a couple times, and he. I was a. I was a. I, we did collaborations over on his gaming channel, which we made play games, whether it be Final Fantasy, Freddy's, Honey Pop, stuff like that, Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that. And of course, I think that had about five a hundred subscribers on that channel. And of course, he decided to shut that down uh, right before 2020 and stuff like that. And then, um, and then 2017, he cut off all his hair. And made a video on that, and then I think he made a couple of videos of him graduating uh, high school or high school, whatever school he was over there. And then he went to the music institution, uh, not mental music institution, where he would do music class and better equipment on computers and stuff like that. Which he, like I said, now he's just a prefer he's just a DJ channel. But on his Jackson channel, he has the verified music uh, music uh, check mark thing on his channel. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then. Of course, I think 2018, he kind of not made as much videos he did. He would do a couple occasion vlogs every every six months and stuff like that. And then um, he would uh, do a couple of videos on then. And then one, I think in 2019, he thought about bringing back his gaming channel. But he said in when 2000, before 2020, he's like, I'm going to do one more video and then we're done with this channel. And I think the channel's, uh, I don't know if the channel's still up or not. I'm going to have to look back and see it. And then, you know, he still has the Jack the Must channel, but like I said, all the videos he made, like the R R O R reaction videos, the updates, the gaming videos, and stuff like that, reaction, short films, a lot of that, he deleted it, and, and, and they are gone. They're, they're, they're not there anymore, which I can understand him saying they were really cringy and not funny and stuff, because, you know, we were, we were teenagers at the time. And then, um, like I said, I've talked to him a couple of times. I used to, we used a video chat at least once or twice a week. Just us talking and stuff like that, you know. First time we very, he went on a cruise that October 2014, and we video chatted a couple hours before he got on the plane to Sydney and got on the to play the cruise ship and stuff like that. And uh, he did actually did a series of his trip to whatever place. I think it was like New Caledonia. He got on a plane to New Zealand to Sydney. And I got on a cruise ship, kind of a cruise ship, and he did a series on that, which was a very, very cool series. You know, I t went with, like, what was it, like, I think it was, like, a week and a half, ten days so without talking to him. So I'm like, man, I got to wait for him, I got to wait for him, tell him to come back and everything like that. Because he was not on the internet for that entire trip. And, you know, at the time he was going on that trip, we ha I had a football homecoming dance. And I was at the dance, I wanted to tell him, but he was on the cruise ship. But, um, 
and then uh and of course like i said like i said the channel's still up uh, but a lot of those videos you can't go back and see maybe you can maybe find a couple of my older videos like i said i use i made videos i've been making videos since 2014 and you know a lot of the videos from 2014 up until 2016 they're are they're uh, private and deleted unless they're gone because uh, like i said i was an asshole and i was a shithead and i would make awful very bad videos talking shit about people talking shit about celebrities talking shit about uh, politics and stuff like that, not politics, but stuff like that, so, like I said, I would still consider him a friend, and probably the one of the best friends I've ever had met on this channel, and after people, and there's been many people that have come and gone, you know, there's been people on YouTube I haven't, I've talked to for a very long time, and I've not spoken to them in about five, six years, there's been people I've talked to one time, and they haven't been online on for ten years and stuff like that, for over ten years, like I said, I opened this channel, when I was 11 going on 12 in 2011 and this channel turned 13 in January and uh, I've been making I've tried to make a couple I made a couple videos in 2012 those videos are history they didn't get made they didn't do enough they were just shitty videos and then I started making videos in 2014 and the rest is history uh, the year I may began making YouTube videos was also the year I um, made videos and stuff like that and here we are 10 years later um, have a 10 year friendship like I said I've talked to him he'll comment on a couple of my videos he'll come I'll comment on a couple of his videos but we haven't had a good conversation in a hot minute so when I get this video uploaded I may reach out to him and see if he wants to video chat and just catch up on some stuff because it's been a very long time since we have had a good conversation and video chat and all that so I think the last time we video chat was in high school and stuff like that but I wanted to make this video because you know like I said I completely forgot about it uh, I, I think I mentioned it one time or like the tweet of his and I completely forgot about it until I'm just sitting here watching his older videos I'm like shit we've been friends for 10 fucking years and I you know I never said that to anybody when I've never been friends with anybody for 10 years in real and outside the internet and I always I've always said many of times I've made better friends online I've had better online friends that I've never met in my entire life better friend they're better friends than people I've met in, met outside the internet people the friends quote unquote friends I had outside the internet are amazing as online as the online friends I've met over the years some of them I've haven't talked to in years some of them I rarely keep in touch but I wanted to make this video because he like I said he has had my back ever since ever since we became friends 10 years ago I was 15 he was 17 I'm 25 he's 27 now Shit, I can't believe that. That's it. Does fucking crazy beliefs that I have. I've had a friend for ten years, even though we don't talk all often as much as we did. We did back then when we were in school and stuff. But I don't want to make this video Jackson or who hurt you, whatever you go by. I hope you're doing well, man. If you ever want to talk, uh, hit me up on uh, somewhere, somewhere online. You'll, I know you can find me. You can hit me up on Instagram if, if you want to send me a friend request on Facebook. I'll accept it, and I'll keep you there. Even though I said I never, I never accept any friends request online from anybody uh but like i said i hope you're doing well brother shoot me a message wherever on any, any show social media platform i will respond to it and i want to catch up with you my friend hope you guys enjoy the video if you want to look at the his channel i would put both his jacks the must channel and his who hurt you channel in the description if i can find the must gaming channel i'll put it there i'll, I'll just have to see hope you guys enjoy the video if you did sorry for rambling too much but if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up comment down below uh, hopefully we'll do a catch-up video soon. Maybe we'll do a catch-up doing uh, playing games or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, and thank you guys a lot for watching. Take it easy.